Welcome everyone to lesson 28 and this is going to be on CSS classes. A class is a way in which you can customize um, a particular paragraph or a particular image and apply a set of rules only to that one paragraph or only to that one image. So far with CSS we've learned about tag styles so for example we could say P and we could set the font to 12 pixels Arial. This would apply a font of 12 pixels Arial to every paragraph on the page. Okay. Both paragraphs are 12 pixels Arial. Whereas we could customize this by creating what we call a class. So a class always begins with a full stop and then you can call it whatever you want. So in this case I called it red text. You could use underscores as well, but you can't use spaces. And it is case sensitive. So let's say for example I set the color to red. In the HTML if I wanted to apply that to a specific spot on the page I could simply say class equal to red text. So this is an HTML attribute just as rel is an attribute or type is an attribute. Class is also an attribute and the value will correspond to whichever value you specified here in your CSS. So the full stop is a special way to identify this as a class. We call this a selector. So the P in this case is selecting every paragraph. The dot red text is only selecting classes that have the word red text in. So there's a whole page dedicated to CSS selectors in W3 schools. You just go to the CSS selectors page and you'll see all the different types of selectors in CSS. There's quite a few. So far we've looked at an element selector or the tag selector which selects every element of that type. Um, we lo also looked at where you can comma separate two elements together and it applies the rules to both of those elements. Now we're looking at the class selector which begins with a full stop. So there's a nice example here and let's, let's carry on now looking at what happens when we refresh our page. Notice the, the paragraph turned red and I can apply it to multiple tags so you don't just have to be limited to only one tag. So now I'm telling the heading to also be red. Okay so not only can we apply the same class to multiple tags on the same page we can also create uh, multiple classes and apply them to multiple tags. So for example in this paragraph I could say class is equal to green bg and then that whole paragraph goes green. But then I can go one step further and apply it to the heading as well. So when you in a situation where you want to apply more than one class to something, just put a space between the two class names, still within the same class attribute, and it will apply both the red text class as well as the green BG class to this heading. There we have it. So now let's say I wanted to center these two pictures within this paragraph. We learnt about the text dash align a CSS property earlier. And the problem is if I applied that to the paragraph it would apply to every paragraph. If I wanted to center every paragraph. And that doesn't look so nice with the text. It's fine with the pictures but not with the text. So we don't want to do that on a global level. I think of this as the parent and this as the child. So I only want to apply it to the child not the parent because the parent will basically affect all the children. Okay, so um, what we can do then is create a separate class called um, center. 
and then just apply that text dash align center to that particular class and then just give a class of center to whatever we want to center now one thing about text align is that it does not work on inline elements so we can't apply a um, text dash align center to these pictures we can however apply it to the paragraph that's containing the pictures um, in that in that way the pictures will know the boundaries of where they can center themselves because remember the paragraph is a block element so you can only apply text dash align to a block element okay can you see how all the paragraphs are left aligned except for the center paragraph with the two pictures which is actually center aligned so to, to make it really look good I could probably add a little margin to the right of this picture maybe we learnt about that in the margin lesson it's just that I don't want to apply the margin to both pictures I need to one of the pictures so what I'll do is create a separate class called right margin and I'll just say margin dash right 10 pixels and then in the HTML on this image I'll just say class equals margin right so you write margin remember it's got to correspond exactly with the CSS file so now I'm only going to apply this right margin to the one image and not both images which I think is a much better solution than the previous way we did it so there we have our lesson on CSS classes.